Hello everybody and welcome to Rocket Launcher Part 2. Can Captain John learn from his past mistakes making rocket launchers and make a rocket launcher that can actually go somewhere? And is this even a safe or good idea? You will find out in this video. So please stay tuned to see what happens next. Will the rocket fly or will it explode? So this is my rocket launcher. It is literally a cardboard tube with a uh, cone from the dollar store glued on there. That's just for looks. Makes it look cooler and then some cardboard and a Domino's pizza box for a little hand guard to protect my hand. Here I've got the, uh, the rocket. That much fuse, that should be about seven or six seconds. In order to make this work with these uh, SD's model rocket engines, you have to cut this sheathing off, um, especially on this kind of fuse because it is water resistant. It has a protective sheathing around it to uh, make sure it can run underwater, but that'll also prevent it from lighting the motor. Stick it all the way in there as far as it can go. Grab a piece of tape, put it on there. As soon as that motor lights, all this gets blown out, so it really doesn't matter as long as you're not using really thick tape or anything. That's, that's good enough. As you can see, those fins have a pretty tight tolerance, but it can still move around freely. And these little wood sticks, they keep that rocket pointed straight while it's in there. Realistically, you'd use metal and you'd bend it back a little bit so it's a little bit springy, um, but I don't have that, so the wood works just fine for me. Now, since this cone is a slightly smaller diameter than the tube, I can pull the the fins over it, and it'll actually hold it in place a little bit, which is uh, nice. That way I can aim it up without the rocket falling out the back. It, we are shooting model rockets out of a cardboard tube. Cardboard is flammable, and these rockets are made out of paper. We are at this big old field that I have been flying at for almost two years now. I've launched many rockets here, and I've never had a problem. Every, anytime I do anything with rockets, I have a fire extinguisher. This is a brand new fire extinguisher, so we're extra safe today. All right, so this little rocket obviously is made out of paper and it has no recovery system. The cap is glued on to the rocket. So when these little motors have their little black powder charge, there is no recovery system. They will literally just explode, which means when we fire them up there and they pop, they're, they're not going to be able to float off and go start a fire or anything, but this is actually relatively safe and there is no warhead on this. We are simply shooting rocket motors just like a normal model rocket, just slightly modified to fit in my launch tube. So to light this, take a lighter, simply light. Uh, as of now, there is no trigger mechanism here. It's just to look cool, so you have to have a fuse. In the future, I might rebuild this out of a more durable material like PVC pipe, and I will probably be putting in an electronic trigger that will work not only for these rockets, but maybe fireworks to shoot other kinds of uh, projectiles, which should be relatively interesting. This is actually the, uh, the same jacket from the uh, first rocket launcher video. Got some gloves. And the thing we didn't have in the last video, nice face protection with a visor. There's the rocket, but uh, there we go. I guess I got this one back, uh, relatively one piece. Might be able to repurpose it or something. The first one works pretty good, so now I've got the second one. The first rocket had a bolt uh, glued into the nose for a nose weight. This one's actually got a AAA battery, so this one's a little bit heavier, but it's also probably gonna be more stable. So my brother's gonna shoot this one since he came out to help me. He deserves to have some fun with the rocket launcher. So uh, yeah, let's see how he does with this uh, second rocket. Point it up, 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 higher. There we go, perfect. Throw the tube. Did that rocket even leave? No, 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 no. All right, let's investigate. Wow, it, um, 
it's pretty messed up in there. Um, I'm not going to look down the barrel, but you guys can. You can see it down in there. So yeah, we talked about it. Uh, if the rocket gets stuck in the tube, you definitely don't want this tube on your shoulder. So uh, that's why I told him to throw it because, to be honest, I wasn't even sure if it left the tube, but it was still smoking out of the front quite significantly. So uh, that's why I told him to throw it like that. But I have a feeling it was something to do with that motor because as soon as that thing caught, it just went boom and exploded like that, which was, uh, was very strange. Come get a close up of that. So we're like the, uh, the NTSB right now doing a post-accident report. Um, it seems as soon as that motor lit, it, the, black charge went, the black powder charge went off and just immediately detonated it. So I guess there was no point in throwing it down, but still, you can see how this can get pretty dangerous. All right, everybody. So I just came back from the field where we were testing the, ro testing the rocket launcher, and I looked over all the footage and I was reviewing some of the problems the rocket launcher had. So first off, we're going to go over the first rocket that was fired. So I said in the video that I don't think this one actually detonated the black powder charge. I think it did. As you can see, there's some char marks here. And some soot coming out of this tiny little hole from where I didn't put hot glue. So that leads me to believe that that charge actually did go off in flight. Although I can't see it in the footage and I can't even hear it. But let's go over the second one because that one was a little more exciting. So obviously this one had a failure. Um, so this is the one that had the AA battery glued into the front. The other one had a little tiny bolt for nose weight. But this AA battery one clearly had a problem. So what I think happened is this motor was just a bad motor. And as soon as it lit, it came out the back and then boom, exploded immediately. But yeah, all in all, this was a pretty successful project. And it was very cheap to do. I mean, most of that stuff came from the trash. The only thing I had to buy were the rocket motors. They're cheap on their own. So all in all, this project can't even cost more than like $5, which is awesome because that means if y'all really want to, which I don't recommend it, you may or may not be able to do this at home. But don't tell anybody I told you you could or could. You know what I'm saying. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please suggest any ideas that I could do with it. I'm thinking about maybe filling up one of these rockets with baby powder and watching it blow up with white powder going everywhere. I think that would be awesome, like an airburst rocket. I think that would be sick. So if you're interested in more rocket videos or you just want to see more engineering or aviation videos, please, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel to help me grow. And I will see you all in the next one. And I hope you found this video educational, useful, or entertaining. Thank you, everybody.